Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Richard C, your real property expert. I'm not feeling like a real pro today. Unfortunately, it's been raining the entire day. I had to cancel some plans. The storm is very heavy outside. But since I'm in the condo, I'd like to show you what I usually do on a rainy day. How I prepare for storm, how I prepare for typhoon, and of course, would like to give you tips about condo living during the rainy day. So this would be a very chill vlog. So if you're new here and you want to learn about condo living, condo lifestyle, real estate investing, and even condo living hacks, just stay around and watch this vlog. So ready real pros? Let the rainy day vlog begin. So the first thing I would usually do on a rainy day or when there is a typhoon and it's non-negotiable is to charge all my gadgets. Mahirap malubat especially during rainy day, especially when you live in a condo and you're alone. Now, the next thing I would do is to check on my supplies to make sure I have emergency canned goods or instant noodles in case mag-close yung mga restaurants or mawalan ng delivery because masyadong slippery yung road. Let's see kung anong meron dito. And if hindi pa sila expired. Hopefully not. Okay, I have my Vienna sausage. Korean noodles. Cup noodles. And some pasta. I don't think they're expired. November pa. So pwede pa yes. But as much as possible, I don't want to eat those food with a lot of preservatives. Uh, last resort ko na talaga yun. If it's an emergency. So habang maaga pa and habang hindi pa ganun kalakas yung ulan and wala pang nagsha-shutdown, I would probably order food already using my grab pay and store food. Now, should we do a ref raid? <laughs> So, got my supplies for today. I have it in set for lunch and dinner. I also have some full tray of eggs. Uh, binili ko yan sa kapitbahay. Shout out, Diane. Thank you. Hindi pa pala ako bayad utang yan. The reason why I put the banana sa ref because nagkaka-fruit fly pag nasa labas and I don't like fruit flies sa condo. So, nire-ref ko na lang. Total same day ko rin nung kinakain or blend ko siya. So now I have full 5 gallons of water. Trust me, lahat ng ginagawa ko ngayon, na-experience ko na yung walang water and then walang supply, walang stock, and then wala kang food. So talagang ngayon, I always prepare. Basta merong typhoon, even if hindi siya directly hit sa Metro Manila. So now that I have a 5 gallon water, these dispensers are called bottom-up. Definitely space saving, especially for small condominiums or they are very efficient for condo living. However, in case of brown out, you won't be able to get water. So it's not as functional as you think it is. So it's important to have a backup. Now, the thing with having automatic blinds or smart home, in case of brown out, hindi mo siya mabababa. I would usually leave it half open just in case overnight yung brown out and I won't be distracted so much by the natural light. And isa pa, pag kumukulog and then hindi mo nababa yung blinds mo, it's really distracting and also scary at the same time. So now, that's better. And in case of brownout, condominium dwellers would always have emergency light only in this area. However, for some condos or majority of the condos, it's not automatic. So you would need to know how to set it up. But I have not fixed my bed yet and I'm now having my late lunch. Pag general clean na ako after nito. Rainy day mood. Ang kalaban mo talaga pag rainy day is very unproductive ka. So at least I'm trying to vlog right now to do something productive. Uh, by the way guys, uh, last few days ko na lang dito sa condo because I'm finally moving in sa bago kong condo and I'm excited to show it guys sa inyo. So, abangan nyo yun. Condo tour and kung paano ko transform yung condo. Now we're going to check the corridor. You always have to make sure that the corridor windows are closed. Usually, if the property management is good, merong roaming guard who would close it pag malakas na yung ulan. Guys, 
you know, one thing I like about being in the corner unit is this one. One time, merong typhoon a few months ago, and then nag-brown out, and then ayaw nung emergency light. Ito, natulungan talaga ako nito. From my unit, I have an external socket. And not all units meron yan. So, in case of typhoon brown out and walang emergency light, ito ang kailangan mo gawin. And if kulang pa siya, you can use a tornado. No? So, it circulates the air. Usually, ginagamit ito para hindi mahirapan yung air ko. Free electricity from the common area. Huwag nyo ito gagawin pag hindi emergency. So, kala nawawala ng emergency power sa condo. Uh, usually, pag nagsisirpet break, kasi pag brown out, and then may isang socket lang na gumagana malapit sa may emergency light. And then, nagsasaksak sila ng extension. And then, from that extension, ang dami nyo lang sinasaksak na gadget. Nasisira yung emergency power or nagsisirpet break siya. So, ito, external power. <laughs> Malaking tulong din siya. Paano ko alam? Guilty. Clean kitchen. So that's it for my condo hacks. Nakapaglinis na rin ako. So now the salad set is clean, the dining table is clean, the kitchen is clean, and most importantly, the bedroom is clean as well. Thank you to the help of Pure Joy and thank you Pure Joy for partnering with me. One more bonus hack nga pala, you know ngayon maulan, it's rainy season and sometimes it's hard to wash our linens. Pagkakulob siya, there is unpleasant smell which destroys the experience of condo living. But thank you to my favorite Pure Joy linen spray. Meron siyang dalawang scent which is lavender and tea garden it really helps the linen to stay fresh clean and of course free from all the necessary viruses na possible na dalhin natin sa labas so thank you very much to pure joy for keeping my place clean and sanitized so that's it condo living is convenient regardless of the situation whether it's a sunny day or whether it's a rainy day you know i grew up in baguio where in we often get typhoons and every time we get typhoons we have power blackout that lasts 24 to 48 hours talagang mahirap. In a condominium during rainy days, during a typhoon I feel really safe. Walang necessary leaks. If meron man, madali ayusin. We have the maintenance. But all in all, it's really just about the hacks of condo living. So thank you very much for watching this vlog. Medyo malakas pa rin yung ulan. So real pros, I hope you keep safe this rainy season. Again, this is Richard C. And I'll see you real soon.